industry obviously has changed. It, it, they typically go in, uh, in episodes of decades. About every 10 years you see, the, you see the industry changes. In many ways I'm reminded of the auto industry. Now every year there's something better. And then only after you step back and look at it 10 years later have you seen this magical change from one, one kind of vehicle to another. In many ways medical devices are the same way. Forty years ago, if, if you had a bad knee, the future did not look that bright because designs were not settled, technique was not settled, and uh, it's only in the last 30, 20 to 30 years that the designs have been perfected and the techniques have been perfected. Tremendous strides made in the 80s, 90s, and the first decade of 2000 in improving those products and the results are just so good today that people are very confident. I want to tell you a story. I, uh, I was a uh, patient or, uh, would go, to, go every year to, to a famous institution here in the U.S. and I had a prolapsed mitral valve which meant that I had a high regurgitation rate which meant that blood was going the wrong direction when my heart would pump instead of going out where it was supposed to, to the arteries, it was going back into the heart chamber. Yet I had no symptoms, but I'd reached the point that uh, it was clear that something had to be done. So they put in an Edwards uh, ring and did some surgery with the ring and the cords. And uh, so my mitral valve has worked very well ever since. I've started running again four miles a day in that summer and have been running it ever since. I'm profoundly blessed. These, this device saved my life and prolonged my life, no question about it.